imagination, innovation, and integrity. Seven generations of P&G employees have worked to create products and build on our founder's dream of touching and improving lives every day. This is Reed Hastings. He's the CEO of Netflix. That's the video streaming service that started out with a simple dynamite idea. Uh, almost uh, seven years ago now, uh, I started this most incredible journey called Amazon.com. Actually, at that time, it wasn't even called Amazon.com. It was... First, I want to clarify, I'm not fake Steve Jobs. You probably <laughs> reconnected with an old pal, shared photos with your family, and gotten advice from your friends on what to buy and what to read. It's... Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Thomas Edison once told half his Harry magazine... Harry was a towering with... scientific intellect in a Victorian era when... Franklin invented the bifocals, the glass harmonica, the Franklin stove, and the lightning rod. And yes, his research on electricity really did involve a kite flying experiment. On Thursday, December the 17th, 1903, news came clattering across the world's wire machines that two brothers from Dayton in Ohio had flown a curious looking air machine over the beach at Kitty Hawk in North Carolina for more than a minute. And if anyone was... Well, you know, Bill built the first software company in the industry. And uh, I think he built the first software company before anybody really in our industry knew what a software company was. You know, it, what Steve's done is quite phenomenal. You know, if you look back to 1977, that Apple II computer, the idea that it would be a mass market machine, uh, you know, the bet that was made there by Apple uniquely, there were other people with products, but the idea that this could be an incredible empowering phenomena, Apple pursued that dream. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. A disruptive innovation is not a breakthrough innovation that makes uh, good products a lot better. These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. And that product is called iPod. iMac, iBook, iPod. Well, now we're going to replace the iPod mini with a new player, an entirely new ground-up design that also has a thousand songs in your pocket. And it's called the iPod Nano. The iPod Nano is the biggest revolution since the original. Today, iPod. one year after Lisa, we are introducing the third industry milestone product, Macintosh. Well, today, I'm incredibly pleased to introduce iMac, our consumer product. And iMac comes from the marriage of the excitement of the internet with the simplicity of Macintosh. This is the new MacBook Air, and you can get a feel for how thin it is. Yeah, there it is. Look at this. Everybody uses a laptop and or a smartphone. And the question has arisen lately, is there room for a third category of device in the middle? Something that's between a laptop and a smartphone. And of course, we've pondered this question for years as well, but we think we've got something that is. And we'd like to show it to you today for the first time. And we call it the iPad.
great products for people. And so we're, we have at least the courage of our convictions to say, we don't think this is part of what makes a great product. We're going to leave it out. Some people are going to not like that. They're going to call us names. It's not going to be in certain companies' vested interests that we do that, but we're going to take the heat because we want to make the best product in the world for customers. And we're going to instead focus our energy on these technologies, which we think are in their ascendancy and we think are going to be the right technologies for customers. And you know what? They're paying us to make those choices. That's what a lot of customers pay us to do, is to try to make the best products we can. And if we succeed, they'll buy them. And if we don't, they won't. And it'll all work itself out. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. While some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do.